Welcome to the Bahamas. We're here as part of the Catlin Sea View Survey. My name is Jamie. I'm just going to show you one of the experiments from the Coral Oceans Education Program. This experiment is called Incredible Edible Polyp. And it's to help you understand the anatomy of a coral polyp. And that's the animal that builds up the amazing reef. So what you'll need for this experiment are a few things that you can find in the kitchen or in the local shop. So what we have here is we have some jam, some Twizzler type sweets, a banana, some biscuits and some sprinkles. It's best if these are green. And we're going to start with the banana. I'm going to open this up here. And we're just going to take the, the end off. Um, you probably want to use a, just a, a normal um, everyday knife rather than a sharp one. And there we go. So this section of banana is gonna form the body of our, of our polyp. So the first thing we're gonna do, is going to take a toothpick, and in the top here, we're just gonna make a little hole, and that is the coral polyp's mouth. Now, polyps are related to jellyfish and sea anemones. They're a type of animal called an Iderian, and they're slightly different from, from jellyfish. They don't float around in the sea. They stick to the bottom of the ocean. And we're just gonna use a biscuit now to represent the bottom of the ocean. So this is the substrate, and that's the science word that we use to describe the bottom of the ocean. And to stick the, the coral polyp onto the rocky substrate, we're gonna use some jam as our glue. Take a little spoonful. I'm going to use that to stick our polyp to the substrate. So there we go. And so what I'm going to show you now is how the coral polyp gets some of its food. Now it's related to jellyfish, so it's got tentacles as well. And we're going to use these sort of sugar sweet things and we're going to cut lengths of these and we're going to put them on our coral polyp to represent the tentacles. So it might be easier if you use scissors, but we're just going to use a knife and a cut. The whole section's about this long. And we'll probably give, give our coral polyp, say, five or six tentacles here. And we're going to use the toothpick again to make little holes around the polyp. So little one there. Three, four, Five. and I'm just gonna use the end of the toothpick and I'm just gonna do this here just to stick the end of the, there we go. Any passing plankton, little animals, can get trapped on these and then transported into the coral polyp's mouth. Now, one of the problems that coral polyps have is that they live in the tropical waters in places here like the Bahamas and these waters are really beautiful and clear and the problem with clear waters is they don't have many nutrients in them so the corals come up with a really cunning way of getting around this and it actually has tiny algae living inside the tissue their science name is Suxanthellae and I'm just gonna sprinkle them here on top of the coral this algae actually provides between 70 and 90 percent of the energy the coral polyp gets. Now, if I just had a coral polyp like this, it would be quite easy for another animal, for a predator, to come and attack it. It's quite soft tissue here, the banana. And so what the coral does is it builds itself a structure and you can see those amazing big structures that they grow. And it does this by taking a mineral calcium carbonate from the ocean and forming what's called a coralite, a structure around it. And the way we're going to show this, we're going to break up one of these biscuits, use some more jam and stick it around to demonstrate the coralite. Now this is almost like a, it's made its own sort of calcium carbonate cup to live in. Get the tentacles out of the way here. As you can see, as I, I work round, that the banana starts to be protected, the body, the soft body starts to be protected. 
once I build this up. There we go. So that's how you make uh, your incredible edible polyp. You might want to make quite a few with your friends or as a class so you can put them all together uh, to form a reef. And uh, it's almost good enough to eat, so I'm just gonna have a bite. Mm. It's not too bad. <laughs>